Yeah, so I just did the group ride. Really hard. Uh, How far was it? Let me check. It was like 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes? 40 minutes hard. I mean, I'm two hours into the ride. Okay. I missed the break, which I'm pretty... I can talk about it more on the after the workout, but uh, I just got to go set up my shoes, and I'm gonna basically set it up like a little transition zone. Yeah. And I have 2k off the bike, and it's just about 5k effort, so like 5k triathlon effort. So uh, uh, I'm trying to hit like two, four, 250 to 255. But uh, yeah, that's tough. So I'm just gonna ride out like that way, do a U-turn. Okay. Uh, simulate it as best I can, like transition. I mean, it's yeah. obviously not the same. And then 2K uh, at race 5K effort. Okay. I guess about two laps of this. Yeah. Just less. Yeah. Okay, it's all painted. Yeah. Thirty-seven, pretty tough. Nice. Two thirty-seven. Oh, sorry. Five thirty-seven. Five thirty-seven. Yeah. I was. Uh, That's really good. I pretty much even split it. Okay. Forty-eight to forty-nine. Do the K and then 
same. So yeah, perfect. It's like 4:30 mile pace, I guess. That was uh, that was tough, but I have a race in a week and a half, so yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Um, give me 30 seconds here to recover. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'll do a little more. <coughs> yeah. So here we are. You probably remember this uh, place from some of the sort of elite videos, <laughs> yeah. Celestial. But this is a this is a basically a race simulation day. Yeah. Um, I woke up. I did a shakeout run. Uh, just like I would normally do on a race day, and then there's a group ride called Stages Group Ride. Uh, it's in Boulder. Meets Tuesdays at 2:15, and it's it's quite hard. A lot of really strong guys show up. Yeah. Um, and today was like probably like 15 or 16 guys okay. um, at the beginning. And uh, yeah, so oh, let me pull up my, my stats from the ride. Yeah. So basically I, I, I live about 45 minutes bike ride from here. So I rode here, okay. hid my shoes yeah. and that stuff in the, uh, in the woods or whatever the tree. So yeah. I could uh, get ready to transition. Into yeah, do the transition. I mean, yeah. uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, so the ride was, uh, the average watts was 316 and the time was 37 minutes. And that's a that's a group ride, so it's not steady watts, you know? So the, yeah. the normalized will be probably 350 or something, a little higher. So yeah, it's it's quite a good effort. Um, Is that a race effort on the bus? Like a... Yeah, I mean, that was race. I got dropped a little at the end. Like okay. I was telling you a little before you started filming. Yeah. It was, uh, you know, I, uh, it's, a, it's a normally a training ride, and we're taking pulls, rotating through, but at one point, everyone stopped rotating through. I don't know if they were getting tired, or they just, it was getting near the end, yeah. like the last the last little bit, and it's it basically is a race at the end. Um, so I was on the front, actually taking a pretty hard pull, probably too hard, uh, feeling feeling confident, because I thought everyone was getting tired, but I guess they were just saving up, because everyone this one guy made a big attack, yeah. and I couldn't cover it. Uh, and a bunch of people got up back on his wheel. I got, I, I like accelerated and got on one of guy's wheel. This guy named John, who's a really strong cyclist, but we actually both ended up not getting on the main group. So okay. we rode in together hard. So there, like it was a little break and I missed it, which I kind of bummed about, but okay. I mean, the effort was there. Yeah. Uh, the power is there. The total ride time is like two, almost 2.30. So I have a lot in my legs already. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was a hard effort, um, but I mean, it's supposed to be 5K effort. Like, yeah. I was definitely like, I was definitely hurting. But in a triathlon, 2K into the 5K, you're you're hurting. So yeah, yeah. I, I don't think it was maybe a little maybe a little hard, but I don't, I don't think it was like way overextending myself. I mean, uh, you probably could have pushed another K if you wanted to. Yeah, no, I definitely hard, could have got yeah. another K or two. I, yeah. Like, the, yeah, and that's part of it, and that's why I do it. I mean, I haven't done a hard run off the bike since. Uh, since Tokyo, so that's okay. that's why I'm doing it. You know, I'm, I'm probably I'm am still learning my legs and that sort of type of thing. Yeah. So, did you have a hard time starting your watch when you were running? Uh, I, I saw you. So what happens is I've worn this watch on the brick before, okay. and it like this is like I mean, you guys, if you're watching yeah. this, maybe you've seen Celestial. Like this is a pretty popular place yeah. for uh, for runners, yeah. and I really like it for these bricks. Because the the group ride re ends really close to here, yeah. so it's actually perfect. And it's already got the K and 2K measured out, so it's and it's it's safe to run on. There's not there's no cars, so yeah. it's a really nice place to run. It's got the measured out distances, but yeah, like I, I like to. Uh, I'm someone that looks at my watch a lot and looks at the pace, and I just I basically was just changing the uh, oh the screen. the face uh, so it yeah. just had my time. Okay. Because if not, I'll look at it and I'll try to adjust my pace, and that's. That's just not the point of the workout for me. Like the point is just to. I feel. Yeah, like, and I have a, a pace in mind. I want to hit like two, two fifty k. So it's it's not even completely by feel. It's it's a pace, but I want to do it without like help of the watch or influence of the watch. Sure. So, yeah, I, I was really happy when I went through the um, the k at two forty eight, two forty nine, and then I held it there. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's a hard day. Yeah. Uh, little bummed that I missed that break on the. The stages group ride. Um, I don't think it was for lack of fitness because I was I was one of the guys taking pulls on the front when the separation happened. When people were getting tired, I just think I just think I just needed like I just been out of the game of like the the bike racing group rides for a little bit too. So that was only my second one since uh, 
since August or no, since July. Okay. So, yeah, just little mistakes I make sometimes, and that's part of learning. And for sure. That's definitely like my weakness is like experience and decision making. So yeah, something yeah. I'm trying to work on, as I mentioned in the last video. Will you do another one of these transitions before the next race? Or? Uh, no, I pro well maybe. I'll see what my coach says. I, I want to practice transitions, just like easy, just getting off and on the bike. So. Yeah. Hopefully that's something we can capture. Yeah. Um, sure. But in terms of like the hard runoff, I think that's probably it. Yeah. Uh, um, the St. George race, which is October 29th or October 30th, yeah. that's kind of um, a lower key race. So that's yeah. that'll be training for Abu Dhabi almost, like okay. getting that that runoff and uh, transition practice. And that that's a big reason why I wanted to do that race is just to kind of like set myself up for Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. This is all on Strava, right? Yeah, 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 the group I'll be on Strava. This I wore this watch, so I could put it on Strava. Um, yeah, cool. Check it out. So you riding home now? Yeah, it's like 40 minutes home. Okay. Uh, got my shoes, <coughs> but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that session. Uh, five miles of running on the day, so I'm that's pretty, pretty. Good. Normal on for a day like today, running with the three miles in the morning. Three, I had a 3.75. Um, and then, yeah, I got to swim at 4.30 tonight. So, yeah, I'm really excited. That was that was good. Like like I said in this recent videos, like, I know I'm not in amazing shape. My best shape ever. But to do 5.37 and feel hard but controlled, um, this is like a good sign because yeah. I, I know like <coughs> if I can run that pace, I mean if I can run that pace and I'll be I'll be all I'll do really well. Yeah. But uh a ten K that's like twenty eight. Well no, I mean Abu Dhabi's a five K here. Oh sure, sorry, yeah. Abu Dhabi's a five K. Okay. Uh, that's something like fourteen flat. So yeah. So yeah, that would that would do that would have me running really well. But so George uh, Olympic distance or Yeah, that's a ten K. That's an Olympic. Uh yeah, we'll see. I gotta talk to my coach. I mean, it's less than a week before the, uh, I'll just talk to him. the Abu Dhabi. Do you know what you've got in the pool later on? Uh, no, I know that I know the style of set will be. It's gonna be a. Uh, it's a set called as fat. Uh, you go at you do a lot of fifties. I stroke count, uh, and then you go as fast as you can. So for me, it's a meter spool, 25 meters, and I do uh, 11 strokes a lap, and then I try to go basically as fast as I can over the 50. So it's pretty, it's like pretty hard. Because for most, the easiest way to swim faster is to make your strokes like turn over quicker. <laughs> so it makes you work your legs, increase your power. Uh, so it's something I do with the swim club I swim with, and it's, it's really beneficial to me. Uh, and it's, but it's a tough set, but a tough set that makes you a lot better and it, it doesn't take a ton out of you because it's, it's, uh, it's not, it's 50s, you know, yeah. that takes 30 seconds. It's like 200 meters running. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, two, it'd be like doing 200s at like a pretty fast pace with running in perfect form or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. This week we got a pretty big week of filming. We got another fart lick run transitions practice and i'm gonna do a cyclocross training day or training workout so hoping to get that on film it'll be interesting to see how that goes and see everyone's feedback but thanks for watching